Spike snoring. You're not, Mom. not so subtle hint to how Spike really sees Twilight. Twilight encourages Spike to wake up, despite the fact she has him going back to sleep on a checklist. And then she takes him with her anyway. Twilight gives her friend's clothes business a quick plug when there is no one around to hear it. The same color as my blankie, which I think I hear calling my name. Spike! Spike! Come to bed! So what, is Spike's blankie some kind of slut? Why is Twilight not assigned to a team already? Twilight knew about Winter Wrap-Up Day before it came, as well as a bit of its history and traditions, yet still doesn't know what every pony does, how she will cope with that magic, or what team to join. If unicorns not using their magic as tradition started because Ponyville was founded by Earth Ponies, why are the Pegasi allowed to use their wings? Shouldn't bringing home the birds be a job for the animal team? Twilight is seen standing on the edge of a cliff face, but a few seconds later she is in the middle of a large crowd in an open field. Rainbow Dash dismisses the idea of Twilight being part of the weather team because she doesn't have wings, despite the fact Pinkie Pie is part of the weather team. Rarity is using magic. Spike acts like a dick in front of the girl he has a crush on. It'll be easy as pie! Missed opportunity as an obvious pun. <laughs> you are a natural, Twilight! <laughs> a natural disaster! Spike is a dick. Animals often hibernate through the winter to save their energy and eat less food. When did Fluttershy become a kindergarten teacher? How does Fluttershy plan to continue waking the animals when she's given Twilight her only bell? Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Twilight is actually doing a pretty good job waking animals here. Look, she wakes like four groups in only a few seconds. Hmm. She's awful strong for such a little pony. Isn't she the same size as you? Twilight's magic appears to have a mind of its own. Spike pretends to Applejack that he is shocked Twilight used magic, despite the fact he proudly boasted to her a few moments before that she was following his advice. That's what I'm here for, sister. Another not so subtle hint as to how Spike sees Twilight. I was hoping my amazingly inspirational speech would urge everyone to do better than last year. Oh sure, moan about how things have gone wrong in the town you're a mayor of, but also make it clear it can't possibly be your fault. Only one pony has been assigned to making nests, despite the fact they need several hundred of them. The mayor expresses concern that spring will start late and also mentions that this is a recurring problem in Ponyville, yet it never occurs to her to start winter wrap up earlier than the last day, or to simply allow unicorns to use magic. Oh, that feather brain! Didn't she learn her lesson last year when she went west? Wait, so you knew this pony had a habit of going the wrong way and you didn't think to check this, or send someone else? Some team leader you are. Yeah, winter wrap up does become a lot easier when you have more than one pony making nests and more than one pony scoring the lakes. The Earth Ponies would not have been able to do this hundreds of years ago. So, did they work through the night? Why is Spike writing a letter to the princess on a clipboard? Hasbro Studios. Okay, so technically this counts as using magic, but since it's not really helping cleaning up winter, and she's already used magic earlier on, I guess it's okay, so I'll let this go. <laughs>